or else I found an expression for the area of the blue shaded region and simplify it completely. And we'll be using the strategy of decomposing the area. Notice how if I take this total area and divide it into two smaller areas here, the smaller areas are areas of rectangles and we know the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So to keep things organized, let's call the area on the left a sub one and the area on the right a sub two. Looking at the rectangle on the left, we know the length of this side is x units. But we don't know the length of this side here, which we need in order to find the area. But we are given enough information to find this length because notice how this length plus this length must be the same as this length here. So because this long length is x plus six, and this is x units, that means this length here must be six units. This is all the information we need in order to find the total area. A sub one, the area of the rectangle on the left, is equal to x times six square units, or six x square units. The area of the rectangle on the right, a sub two, is equal to x units times x minus one units. So we'd have x times the quantity x minus one square units, which means the total area of the blue shaded region, a, must be equal to six x plus x times the quantity x minus one. But we are asked to simplify this expression, so now we'll distribute and combine like terms. So we have a equals six x plus x times x is x squared plus x times negative one, that's negative x or minus x. And money like terms, the area is equal to x squared and six x minus x or six x minus one x is five x. So the area is equal to the expression x squared plus five x. Let's look at this problem again by decomposing the area a different way. Let's say we decide to decompose the area by dividing it here instead. Let's call this small area a sub one and this large area a sub two. Notice how we don't have either of the dimensions of this small rectangle here, but we know from our previous work, if this length is x plus six units and this is x units, this must be six units. So now we're going to determining this short length here. Well, we know this total length is x units and this length here is x minus one units. So x minus one plus this length must equal x. And because x minus one plus one is equal to x, this length is one unit. Another way to think of this is if this is x units, and this is x minus one units, this length is one unit less than this long unit, and therefore this length is one unit. And now we can find both smaller areas, a sub one and a sub two. A sub one is equal to length times width would be six times one or six square units. A sub two is equal to x plus six units times x minus one units. So now we know the total area of the blue shaded region is also equal to six plus the quantity x plus six times the quantity x minus one. Let's multiply this out and simplify to make sure we do get x squared plus five x. And multiplying here we'll have four products, one, two, three, four. So we have the area is equal to six plus x times x is x squared plus x times negative one, that's negative x, so we have minus x. And now we distribute six, six times x is six x, plus six times negative one is negative six, so we have minus six. So combining like terms, we have the area is equal to x squared. And notice how we have six minus six, that's zero. We also have negative x plus six x, or negative one x plus six x, which is five x. So we do get the same expression. The total area is equal to x squared plus five x. 
I hope you found this helpful.